His thirst for knowledge knew no boundaries, and his works continue to astonish scientists even today. Al-Biruni was born in Khwarezm, present-day Uzbekistan, a land at the crossroads of cultures and civilizations. This region exposed him early on to Greek, Indian, and Persian scholarship. One of Al-Biruni's most remarkable achievements was his measurement of the Earth's circumference. Using only geometry, trigonometry, and a mountain near Nandana in modern-day Pakistan, he calculated the Earth's radius with an error margin of less than 1%, and though an extraordinary feat without modern technology. He pointed out inconsistencies in Ptolemy's astronomy and argued for the possibility of the Earth's rotation on its axis centuries before Copernicus in Europe. Uh, El Biruni was not only a scientist of the heavens, but also of the people of the Earth. When he traveled to India, he immersed himself in local culture, languages, and traditions. His book, Kitab al-Hind, the Book of India was a pioneering work of ethnography. His writings on geology suggested that the Indian subcontinent had once been covered by the sea. An idea confirmed centuries later. His interdisciplinary vision reminds us that science is interconnected mathematics. His methods combining observation, experimentation, and critical thinking make him a pioneer of the scientific method alongside Ibn al-Haytham. European scholars later study translations of his works and modern historians call him one of the greatest minds in history. Brothers and sisters, Abu Rayhan al-Biruni was more than a scholar. He was a seeker of truth, guided by the conviction that knowledge is a trust from Allah. His life teaches us that science and faith are not opposites, but allies in the quest to understand Allah's creation.